What is up YouTube? MJ's Classic Pulls here and I want to go ahead and do the first video for the first time that I have ever done Pokemon cards. I don't know the first thing about Pokemon cards. However, I figured my uh, Walmart, my Target, uh, the grocery store near me, HEB, Dollar General, nowhere. I cannot find cards anywhere. So I went ahead and said, let's go ahead and do um, these cards. So this one, these two I got from the local grocery store, which was HEB. And then this one I got from, uh, if I remember right, I got it from Target. No, I got it from Walmart. I got it from Walmart. So this one's from Walmart. These two are from HEB. So let's check it out and see what we got. All right. So hopefully... We got something good. I'm going to assume that the double pack is probably worth more. Um, so we'll open that one last. Let's see what we have. Um, if you haven't already done so, leave like, subscribe. I'm trying to get to my 100th uh, subscriber. I keep every single, every day I get one more subscriber, it seems. So trying to get to that next level. Uh, trying to do our 100 subscriber giveaway. That's what we're waiting on. Waiting on the next uh next next one so all right so it looks like we have some kind of game online card we have whatever this little token thing is i don't know if that's worth it's probably not worth anything the fact that you get one every single pack um and then the first card which is whatever this is something called the uh, mantine all right so whatever that is worth it sits there all right so let's open our first pack First time I've ever, ever in my life opened a Pokemon pack. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So I don't know how the order goes. I don't know if like the first card's good, the last card's good. I don't know. There's another one of those gaming cards. So we'll just see what we got. I got something called the uh, Phantom. Uh, Bronzor. Uh, Toxel. Uh, that must be worth a million dollars. It's called Applin. Uh, the Darumaka, uh, something called the Capacious Bucket, it's like foil, that's pretty cool, put that over there, it might be worth more than anything else, uh, Zamatiza, Zamatinza, I don't know, something like that, it's something called Energy, um, there's another Capacious Bucket, but this one is different, uh, Turf Field Stadium, uh, Carcoal, and then the, so this turf or capacious bucket is a foil of some kind. This one is a regular one. So there you go, whatever that is, I'll put it over there. And I wonder if the more hit points, which I'm assuming those are the hit points or those are like the power or whatever is worth more maybe, I don't know. So, uh, let's just say, let's just, let's just go off, um, my stupid instincts here and say, the capacious bucket over there is worth more. This looks like it's not worth anything. Energy, there's 120, there's 80, 70, 40, uh, 60, 60. So I'm going to say, with my guessing, that the two most valuable cards in here are the, uh, the Zamaz Zamazenda and the Carcoal. I'm going to say those are the two most valuable, but I don't know. Because I don't know if that thing over there is worth anything. So I will, I'm going to look it up on uh, eBay when all this is said and done, and I will see. I'm not expecting it to be worth anything. So here's package number two. Man, I'm trying to open these. Or, there's an easier way to open it. I just don't know it yet because obviously these are the first time. And one thing I do like about cards, these Pokemon cards that I got, they were only four bucks. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but they were only four bucks. I like that. I mean, I went to the card shop, uh, not the card shop. I'm sorry. I went to the, uh, Walmart and I actually found, uh, uh yesterday or the day before, I can't remember if it was yesterday or the day before, but I actually found, uh, 2020, um, uh, was it Heritage? No, it was, uh, I forget what it was, but whatever it was, it was, whatever it was, it was, 
So I put I moved the bottom five cards because I think the two best ones are in the middle. So I think I took the bottom four or bottom five cards. We'll find out here in a second. Anyways, whatever it was, it was 2020. Um, I can't even remember. It wasn't Heritage. Whatever it was, Gallery. 2000, uh, 2020 Gallery. Uh, it was $80 a box for, and it came with two signatures. And I was like, I, I just can't do that. You know, I, I came with two um, autographs. There's a 90. Pal, pal Patold. Scoop Up Net. I don't think that's not worth anything. The Chitat. It's a 70. There's a Roly Coley. That's 70. There's a Stunky, which is 70. There's a Chet. A, Clefairy, which is 60. So we'll assume that this is supposed to go right here. There's a Voltorb, which is 50. There's a Nose Pass, which is 80. And then here's the foil. It's a Luxio and something called a Snorlax, which is on 50. So I'll assume those are worth the most money or the most uh, value. I don't know. I'll find out. All right, so here is the next one. There's two of these little coins. Here's the next one. This is the uh, Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze, and it looks like there's Sword and Shield underneath it. So I guess this Darkness Ablaze is a bonus one. It says contains one Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze booster pack and one booster pack, bonus booster pack. So we'll find out when I look at it if I can tell the difference. So, and this one I think was nine dollars maybe maybe 11 i can't remember i saw a couple of them so i don't know and there's a plastic divider in there so okay so i've got sword and shield and sword and shield darkness ablaze so i'm gonna i'm gonna save the darkness ablaze and this feels thicker anyway so i don't know if that means anything probably doesn't mean anything just me using my mental powers of um one I'll put that over there uh, one, two, three, four, four. Okay, so I'll put those up there. Uh, so let's see, I've got Energy. Aurora Energy. The Pharaoh Thorn, which is pretty, pretty high score. There's the Crushing Hammer. There's the Gossifleur. There's the Silicobra. I'm a G.I. Joe guy, so I like Cobra. There's the Yamper. <laughs> Don't be a Yamper. There's Krabby. There's Q Font. There's a Quick Ball, which almost looks like the Michigan Wolverine thing. And then there is a uh, Mushinara. Okay, so we'll put that over there. All right, and then we have our final. Look at these nickel over here, don't they? Yeah, it's the final one. So I don't know. Like, can you? Is there like? I'm assuming they've got cards that are like rare and ultra rare and super rare. I don't guess they don't do things like autographs or anything like that. Maybe like game used. Pokemon cards, that goes over there. One, two, three, four, there's the energy. I think the energy is the, the, the key here. All right, here we go. The energy. I've got a Rose Tower. I've got a Sindini. I've got a Dedean. I've got a Golet. i got a Feebase. i got a Perleon. I've got a Hippotatus or something. I've got a Centret. I've got another Fee Base, but this one's the that foil looking one. And then the other card is a Muck. A Muck. Don't muck this up. All right. So there we go. There's my four, four packs. Uh, don't know what's worth anything, if anything. So I'm going to go online take a look and see, and then I will come back and do another video. So, all right. Hey guys, so I went ahead and checked 
and there's only one card or the one card i should say that's worth more than all the rest of them all of them range between like a penny to say a two dollars at most but the one card that was worth um the most recent ebay sell sell was uh it was six dollars plus twelve dollars shipping but then there was one after that that was like twelve dollars with no shipping so it was uh this one right here it was the quick ball I think they call it a reverse hollow. That's what the like the the holograph looking thing is. So that's pretty cool. So I will sleeve that one up as soon as I get a chance. So, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by. And boom, two freak tokens. Have a good day, guys. See you later.